Aviva is pleased to announce the release of the new Connect to Pi agent, which allows stream data within your Connect Data Services tenant to be written to Pi points in an Aviva Pi server. The release includes a new portal page in Connect Data Services to centrally create, configure, and manage data transfers. This is also where you download the agent. Connect to Pi agent is an installable agent that moves data from Connect Data Services to a Pi server via open message format and the Pi Web API endpoint. If you are already using Connect Data Services, you can download the install kit and get started immediately. Now you can marry the power of Connect Data Services in the cloud with the industry-leading Pi server capabilities. This release will allow data that has been analyzed and used at Scale and Connect to be written back to the Pi server for use within the operations environment. For example, a common scenario is data generated on premises and enriched in Pi can be transferred to Connect, used in advanced analytics and models that produce outputs. Those outputs can be sent back to Pi server and displayed on a Pi Vision screen to inform operation actions. Here are some features that you can look forward to with the first release of Connect to Pi. The Connect to Pi agent runs on a local machine and allows you to configure transfers, which will define what data will be sent to the Pi Data Archive from Connect. These transfers are created and managed from Connect Data Services centrally in the cloud. Current, historical, and future data streams are all supported. Data can be sent to either a standalone Pi server or a highly available Pi server collective. The Connect to Pi agent can authenticate with basic, Kerberos, or OpenID Connect authentication. Getting started with Connect to Pi is simple and intuitive. First, download the Connect to Pi agent installer from Connect Data Services. Then you install and configure the Connect to Pi agent on a machine that can communicate with Connect Data Services and the Pi server. You will be asked for information on namespace, authentication, Pi Web API, and more. After configuration, all transfers can be created and managed in Connect Data Services. Let's take a look at this last step in practice. In Connect Data Services, under Pi Agents, find your Connect to Pi agent and click on Add Transfer. Then we need to add a name and namespace. Select a transfer mode, which in this case will do a backfill and then update current data as it becomes available. Choose a backfill start date and click continue to create the transfer. Once created, you will need to select streams to add to this transfer and choose how to name the resulting Pi point. In this case, we will use a custom name. For this demo, we will create a transfer for a float, string, and future streams. Once complete, save the transfer. After it's saved, you'll have to click on Start to begin the transfer. The transfer will start by backfilling data from the start time, then transfer current data as it becomes available. For further verification, we can look at the data on the Pi Data Archive through system management tools. Search for the demo data, we can then see it's updating in real time. We can also look into the archive to see the backfill was successful as well. With this release of Connect to Pi, we are introducing the long-awaited capability to write data back down from Connect Data Services to the Pi server. We are already planning future enhancements including writing back streams shared into a Connect Data Services community, enabling a host of data sharing use cases when data and insight need to be shared across geographies, business units, and with your trusted ecosystem partners. Your feedback will be instrumental in continuing to shape the features and capabilities of the agent to deliver even more value.